What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be doing a review on my HKS exhaust on my 300ZX twin turbo. I've had it on here for probably about, say about a month or two, probably more like two months. <clears throat> and I just wanna give my honest opinion on if I like it, if I don't, it compared to a straight pipe, cause I did have a straight pipe on this car at one time. But first things first, let's get a cold start clip for you guys. that little squeal from the belt but that's a cold start I know I didn't do all the Joker Z stickers here I was lazy I mean not Joker Z full send stickers there and I was lazy but it is what it is they're coming off soon anyways So now I'm going to film some in-car clips for you guys. Um, I really like the way this car sounds, I'm not going to lie. My personal opinion, it's the best exhaust. I have that one to open for you guys. I really like that it's not super loud and you can hear the blow-off valves, which I do have HKS blow-off valves and I'm running a uh, tune on this car so it's pushing about 15 PSI or so, 14, 15, somewhere in there. So that's why it is a little bit louder than like a stock car with uh, no blob valves. I guess you're not gonna hear any of the sounds, but. I really like it, especially going from the owner before me had a straight pipe on this car. And I really just don't think this car needs to be straight piped. I mean, it sounds good-ish. It's just super loud and really, really obnoxious and I was a fan for a day. And then after that, I was like, yo, I need to figure out a way to get an exhaust list thing. So luckily my friend Gray had a HKS exhaust lying around or from his car, he wanted to go muffler delete. So he let me have it for a good price and that's kind of why I have it now. So it's pretty dope, appreciate it, Gray. RIP to your Z, I know it sucks, but hey, at least I got the HKS before it got wrecked in the rear. Uh, but yeah guys all around like the HKS exhaust is the way to go I mean it just sounds the best it sounds so clean crisp I think the only other exhaust that I've ever heard on this car that sounded better in my opinion is that GTR R35 where they designed it a certain way to sound like the uh, R35 that one sounds pretty good I'm not gonna lie I am a fan of that my friend Matthew wants me to do it, but I think that's just too much for, like, to copy a car sound. I'd rather just sound like a 300ZX. You know? I love how it, like, you can hear the turbo spool, and they're super small, but it really sounds like they're sucking in birds, but, like, it's, it's crazy, honestly. <laughs> oh, my God. So, if you're in the market for an exhaust, I highly recommend HKS Systems. Now the only thing that's different about a normal HKS system and mine is I don't have the um, little mid pipe, uh, gray one to keep that. So all I have is like a straight pipe to HKS muffler. So it might be a little bit quieter um, with that mid pipe. I'm not actually sure, sure. I, mean, I haven't really heard one without it or with it. But I mean, this thing sounds amazing. My camera's shaking. I love it. I love the way this thing sounds. Now you can even go back and look. My girlfriend reacted to this exhaust as well. And she used to have, oh, don't destruction right here. Stop. And uh, she loved it, it was, it was crazy. So um, she liked it a lot more than with the straight pipe. 
So it was pretty dope because she was happy about it and now she likes to ride around in it more. stickers across the whole car and it makes it break next like insane it's so many broken necks no matter where I go I think I'm gonna film a video about that like uh, strap a GoPro to the top and uh, see how many necks, necks I break on uh, Buford Drive that's where the mall is and it's like Christmas time so everyone's like shopping and everything so and I'm probably gonna go through a little mall uh, entrance and stuff and like get everyone's reaction because I think it's gonna be super funny and I'm hoping to take this car to a car meet too because I, it's cold now so not a lot of car meets are going on but I know there's some holiday meets that they're going to have so hopefully I still have this wrap on or the sticker stuff on when they have those meets. I don't know how long I want to keep it on. I kind of already want to take it off. But not because it looks, more so because I know it's going to suck to take it off the longer I wait. And But it is what it is. By the way, I'm not going full throttle trying to chill with the car I'm just like revving it out to about 4,000 rpms or so like this is to 4,000 so I mean it sounds really really crisp really good very clean not obnoxious uh, just really a, overall it's a great exhaust, exhaust note in my opinion in my opinion And the HKS blow valves definitely make it even better. So if you're in the market for blow valves, HKS blow valves, that's what they sound like. And they sound amazing, super loud compared to stock, obviously, because stock really doesn't have a sound. And I haven't really ever heard any other blow valves. I know my friends have different ones, but I don't know what brands, so I can't even tell you. But personally, my opinion, I like this blow valve the best out of every blow valve that I've ever heard on this car. Not knowing any brands, but oh uh, man, I love this car so much. I cannot wait to get it painted and the wide body kit on and uh, everything dialed with the oil leaks. Because once that's all done, I'm gonna drive it far. I want to drive it. I want to really get it out, um, out of state. Really, I mean that's kind of my goal. But right now it's just more iffy because. I don't want anything to break on it while I'm in the process of building it, like going out of state, because I don't want anything to mess up my paint and wide body schedule. Like I already have all that ready to go. It's literally the only reason that I put the stickers on instead of doing that was I just wanted to do something cool because I knew I wasn't going to be able to paint it and have the wide body kit on by the end of December and I wanted to go out of 2019 with a bang and like... Yeah, I just wanted to do something crazy before I left 2019. Going into 2020, the car will be getting painted very, very soon. And wide body kit obviously will be on. And it's gonna be amazing. 2020 is gonna be the year. My uh, goals for 2020, just all on the topic and I'm driving around. I wanna hit, it's gonna sound crazy. I wanna hit 10,000 subscribers in 2020. I know I just hit 1,000, but like my goal is to grind hard, go out there, get noticed and get 10,000 by 2020 by the end of 2020 and who knows it might happen it might not i'm gonna drive high because you know there's no point in like going average like i'm trying to I'm trying to get 10k 2021 i'm trying to hit 100k and then uh probably 2022 500 or 400 k just because at that point that's gonna be really hard for going from 100 to a million in a year but I don't know. I need your guys' help, though. If you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. Help me get to 10K. I just want to get to 10K by the end of 2020, which is not even 2020 yet, but it'll help now so that it's not super hard in 2020. Why are they breaking? Come on, guys. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was probably a little bit of a short one, but I got to go to work in a little bit, and there's just been a lot of stuff going on. Like off camera just like with like the family and stuff like a lot of birthdays and the Christmas 
shopping and all that. So it's been hard to film videos, and I've been working at night, which has been bull crap. I hate working at night, but hopefully it's only for like this week, and then I'm done, and I can go back to my normal day schedule. But yeah, guys, go subscribe, hit that like button, hit the first link in the description, cop some chills merch, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.